CodeMonkey here. Now, in the last video, I showed you how to set up Phaser 3 using Node Package Manager and the template made by Richard Davey, the founder of Phaser. And today, I'm going to show you how we can add a scene into that, still using Node Package Manager. So let's get started. Code Monkey, get up, get coffee. Code Monkey, go to job. So here's the project that we set up in the last video. And it's just the standard Phaser 3 project template from GitHub, put out by Richard Davey, the founder of Phaser. Now, how do we get this into something that we're more familiar with? Well, let's go ahead and add a scene. And I'll just make a folder up here in SRC Scenes. And we'll make a new file, scene main.js. Now you notice that we do have an index.html down here, but it's pretty much empty. So there is nothing being included. Normally we had to do a lot of things like script, src, and then link that in. Well, with npm, we don't do that. And if I want to include this scene main, then I have to import it. It's also importing phaser here, and it's importing the image, and we'll get into that in a bit. But even though I only have the basic file here, there's nothing in it, we can go ahead and import it. We would import, and then because we're gonna be using a class in there, and I'll show you in a minute what I mean, import scene main in brackets, because it's the class from, and then as you see here, we're importing the asset as the root dot slash assets. So we can import the scene from dot slash scenes and scene main. So now I can put here, instead of this scene down here, I can put scene main. And we want to put that in an array so we can add more later. Now, as soon as I save this file, it's going to refresh the page. And I'm going to get some errors over here because things are not complete yet. So let's have a look at normally how we put a scene in. This is the scene main that I've been using for a few years now. And I just kept it over here on a snippet. That's normally what we do. Class scene main, and we extend the phaser scene. And then we have the super constructor scene main. But if we do that now, we're going to get this error, cannot read property SYS of undefined. For this to work, we need to export that class, meaning we can bring it in via this from statement over here, import scene main. And this is the class right here, class scene main. So class is in brackets from scene, scenes main. And now let's have a look. And you see it automatically refreshes. And we've got our ready over here. So now we've got our standard scene over here with the preload, create, and update that we're used to. And now we can start putting in more code. 